Welcome back to another update video. Today we're going to be looking at DVRConf and its recent updates. Before I get into the update itself, we've noticed that we've had a lot of new traffic to our YouTube channel. And for those that are new to DVRConf, I'd like to give you a quick overview of what it's about. So DVRConf is our batch processing conversion software for proprietary videos. It will handle standard video as well, but it was designed to tackle large amounts of proprietary video. Here you can see I've dragged in loads of different video files from a folder straight into the GUI. You can see that we've got .pix, .dat files, a .exe file, and right now it's picking up that the file it's converting actually has multiple video streams within itself. So it can identify that a video file has got multiple video, video streams and then it's going to convert all of them individually so that you can play them. For those of you who are familiar with 5 and Replay but new to DVRConf, the difference here is that with 5 and Replay they're both designed to convert single video files or formats. So if you had 5.avi files it could convert them in one go but then if you had a .exe or a .pix, you would have to select them separately. The benefit of DVRConf is that you can select all the different types of video files that you need to convert, bring them all in in one go, and just let it batch process them overnight or on a different computer. And then when it's finished, it will just give you a log file to tell you which files it successfully converted and which files it wasn't able to. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what DVRConf is about and now we're going to get into the latest updates. So the main update today is that we've added the H.264 quality settings. H.264 has become one of the most popular codecs. So here we can go into the options and you can see that we've got this quality for H.264 codec and we can choose between visually lossless high and default. Finally, with every update to DVRConf, we always increase the amount of supported formats that it can convert. And today's update is no different. Most of the formats that have been added are formats that users come across and they struggle to convert, so they submit it to us. Then our team will decode them. And once they've been decoded, they'll be incorporated into DVRConf. So in the future, you guys can convert these files. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.